It has been a while since I've done any tutorials related to the document object model. So I'm going to talk about the get computed style method that allows you to retrieve the CSS style declaration object from a DOM element. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. Also, check out the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description of this tutorial. At times, you may need to find out a computed style for HTML element. Get computed style allows this. Now, the computed style is the style actually used in displaying the element after stylings for multiple sources have been applied to that element. I found in my work, I will set the style, but there are situations when it would make sense to check a particular style attribute first, or maybe that's all I need to do. So let's take a look at this command, how it works, and how to work with the CSS style declaration object that is returned by this command. So first off, here's the HTML file that I will be working with. Basically, what I'm going to do is grab this tag right here, the H2 or the EM, either one. I'll grab one of those tags and we'll be able to look at its styles using the get computed style command. So first thing I need to do is to grab that. And so I'm going to do that with document. I'll use query selector for this. And if you're not familiar with query selector, I do have a tutorial on that and query selector all that I can refer to in the description. Let's say I just get the EM tag. And we'll place that into the LM variable there. Now we can go ahead and get the CSS style declaration object using the get computed style command. Now this is a method of the window object, the get computed style is. So in order to use it, we have to type in window.get computed style like that. And then we pass in the element that we want to check. And that's the one I've grabbed. That's going to be that em. Let me just highlight. It'll be this one here. And so any styles that have been computed for that will show up inside of this object. Now let's go that far first and I'll just log to the console this CSS style declaration object so we can take a look at it before we go any further. All right. So let me open up the console there. getting in too big of a hurry go back here open up the console let's take a look at it so here's some information displaying from that CSS declaration uh, object CSS style declaration object if we open that up we can then see all of these at the top I'll talk about those in a minute those help the object this specific object help it so that we can refer to particular styles using the regular CSS term as opposed to the JavaScript term. Down here, we get farther down, this is where we see the JavaScript terms for styles. So if I jump down to, for example, let's go look at font areas here. You can see there's a bunch of them, so you can get everything in this one thing. Font size. Right now it's set to 36 pixels. Okay, So that's what we're seeing with the font size. So that is the CSS style declaration object. This is what you're getting from it. So you have access to all of that. Obviously, that's a bit unwieldy. That is a huge amount of information. So you want to be able to narrow that down if you're looking for specific things. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So first off, let's use font size as the style, the attribute that I want to look at. Well, the way I could do that is using the JavaScript term for font size, not the CSS, but the JavaScript, I can then display that. So if we refresh this again, now we see 36 pixels. We can see what the value is there. Now, the problem with this is some p 
people that are really good at CSS, I'm not one of them, but some people that are, they get really, really familiar with the term used in CSS. And so they want to be able to type that in and display it, something like this. So we'd specify the element and font dash size. Well, let's just see what that does. You can see we get an error. It doesn't allow that because of this here. That's not allowed. However, there is another way to refer to the attribute. And this is using the square brackets that we can use with an object to refer to something. So if I put square brackets there and then inside of quotes, I put font size. This is a JavaScript term first. Let's see what that returns. And there we're able to get it. But now that we're able to do this, we can go ahead and put the CSS term. So if you're more familiar with that, then you can go ahead and use that technique to display or to access the attributes for a particular DOM element. Okay, So there we're getting the 36 pixels. And I was able to do that using the CSS term for font size. So that's a good thing to know about how to work with this CSS style declaration object. Now another advantage of being able to use the square brackets is I could set up a function that I could then just use that function to get a specific property for a DOM element that's passed in. It could be a function that I use frequently. So let's just call it CSS style, something like this. I can't take full credit for this. I've seen this done on the internet before. This is a great uh, function to set up to use over and over again. And so what we want to return is window.get computed style. And then inside of parentheses, we put the variable that's passed in that contains the element, this one here. And then right next to those parentheses, we put square brackets and we put the property. So whatever is passed into that. So let's see how that would work. So if we did a console.log, get CSS style, and then we're going to pass in Elm, Elm, which has the this one here, this query selector for EM. It's that particular tag. So we're going to pass that in. And we're also going to pass in font-size. We do the same one again. Then I'll change that in just a minute. Well, let me just do it in here. I'll do both of them here. I'm going to grab this, come down here. Let's change this to color so we can see both of those. All right. Now, if we refresh, we can see that we're getting that information for both of those. So that makes a nice function that we can reuse over and over again. And because we're able to use the square brackets here for that property, that works for us. So this is how we can get the computed style from an element, a DOM element. Now, if you're not familiar, if you needed to then change that computed style, well, of course, we could do that using the style attribute. So we want to change font size. See, I use the, the JavaScript term for font size. And we'll set it at 10 pixels. We can see that that font size is now reduced to 10 pixels, okay? So I mainly wanted to focus on grabbing that computed style using the get computed style method of the window object because we can get any style we want. And then when we set up a function like this, that would allow us to easily narrow those properties down to get the ones we're looking for if we needed to check those beforehand. Now, before we're done here, please hit the like button and subscribe. And remember, I've provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. If you'd like to become a patron of this channel, I would appreciate the support. For a certain level of support, you can get access to the code files I use. You can also contribute by visiting my website. You can follow the link for both in the description. Click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week, and thanks for watching.